Hey, I'm back. How you people doing? All right. Um, I was waiting for something to go down before I talked about this other situation. What was the um, transgender woman and um, a female prison? Uh, she still had her prison as well. So, uh, she. Yeah, somebody pregnant. I was go. I was good. Yes, I know. I, I know. I, 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 to Jesus, I know. Lord Christ, I I was gonna wait on that, but but see, since the Dave Chappelle situation happened, I guess I have to, you know, speak on that and talk about that situation too. Okay, well, well, let's just slide on back over here to the prison situation. Um, me being the trans woman myself, yes, forget the beard. That's going to be the tagline. Don't worry about that right now. My shaver is broken, and I will be buying one in a couple of days, so do not worry about that. I'll be back to my beautiful self in a second. But um, I still have my princess wand, and... You should not put people in prison, um, uh, um, a trans female in prison with um, a penis. No, uh, uh, no, no, don't do that. And I understand that you're able to rock with us and, and you know, we, we moving forward as, as, a, as, a, as a society and a world and a community. But I, I can't agree with that one there because... Somebody's gonna get pregnant. Some, somebody's gonna get uh sexually harmed in some kind of way because everybody. This is prison. This is not like a fucking birthday party or or church meeting. This is prison. They're, People go to prison for raping people and forcing themselves upon each other, and and and, 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 and these, these are not a group of nice people, whether they are gay, straight, trans, anything like that. This is prison. So why the fuck would you let this person, trans female, in the prison with? A penis and other females like uh okay I mean all right let let me speak for myself in this case I do believe that there should be a unit or a pod or. Some kind of place where all of us congregate so that we don't have to worry about being injured or preyed upon or hurt or sexually assaulted by the male inmates. But you you, you better not put me in prison with females. That, that, That just don't work. And um, it might be new to y'all, but hello, I'm a lesbian because I still like females. I just not strictly dating guys. So, like this nigga that was in prison that got the woman pregnant, she must understand what I'm saying. Why the fuck did y'all put her in there with these other bitches? And she still got a penis. Uh, it, uh, just because we think an estrogen and stuff like that, that, that does not mean our penis does not do penile things. And I, I, I mean, bitch, this this not cute. The, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Thank y'all for being on our side, but in this case, you should have left it alone. 
when it's time for you to go to prison and you've done something prisony that you need to go to prison for, really, nobody cares that you are female or male. You are a prisoner. That's all that you are. I'm sorry. You've done prisony things. Okay, so you having all of these freedom people's rights is not is not the thing, okay? Now we wanna get all upset because she's up there pregnant, but y'all let this trans female air quotations because that's some other type of shit, girl. Y'all let this nigga in the prison with a penis that work. I take estrogen pills myself every day. It does not mean your penis does not work. It is it, it does not automatically transform into a vagina and excrete pussy juices and smell like a pussy. No. It's still a penis. So, what the fuck are we doing? Why the fuck are y'all doing it? Who the fuck told y'all to do this? And I'm sure I'm not the only bitch on the planet that agrees that you motherfuckers shouldn't have did it. I mean, damn. Okay. Focus on the bathroom issue. Focus on things like that. But y'all skip over the bathroom issue to jump right on in the prison. I mean, damn, okay? Yes, we supposed to have some rights as prisoners because we still human beings. Some of us, let me say. Not everybody, because some people's crimes, they should actually not even be alive to go to prison if you ask me. But, how y'all skip over the bathroom issue to just say, hey, trans women with prison walls still attached and in working order can go into prison with other bitches with vaginas of working order. Um... um, Okay... I don't know what they were thinking. Like, okay, yes, I'm a trans woman and now I feel that I don't like women at all if I'm in a prison with with them for a long period of time, like, um, that's kind of saying how niggas go to prison and they gave for the state because they in there for the rest of their goddamn life. I mean, this trans woman might date niggas on the outside, but hey, she's in prison for a very long time. So, hey, this bitch might be game for the stay. And does anybody got her paperwork saying that she was trans before she went to prison? Because I'm not the smartest bitch on the planet, but if I can go to a prison and pretend that I am a trans female and go in prison with other females, bitch, I might try to do that. that that's not... That's, that's not too far away from my thought pattern if I got a good 30 to 40, 50 years. Shit, two to five years, I might think about that. I'm just saying that, that that's kind of stupid. So I do not remember what county this is on, but... uh. I think that we should not do that, okay? Now, that was a stupid move, people. Don't do that. Don't don't, don't do that. Um, We have a lot more rights and a lot more titles we can worry about, but 
put trans women in prison with regular bitches is not the mode. Now, um, that's cute and everything, but, uh, second problem that we're having here, the reason why I'm doing this video earlier than I planned, um, as you guys know, you might know, what well, you probably do if you watch YouTube and you have your notifications on, um, Dave Chappelle was attacked. Well, he was on stage in L.A., you know, doing a set for the Netflix is a joke um, festival and everything. And um, when I first saw this video, this clip, this, um, this notification of what happened, it was from this person's phone and it was just put up on a random site and as I saw such uh, thank you very much as I saw such cute little shirt um as I saw this I was wondering why the hell does it say Dave Chappelle attacked by LGBTQT every once in a while al alphabet that they can figure out and say that this was a trans man who attacked this nigga no, fuck no. First of all, we all know if you, if you know a little bit of your history, your history. Um, this bill is from Washington. He has enough money to basically say he is almost white. He is not the type of nigga that you need a gun and a knife to attack. And this is coming from a bitch in a wheelchair. This is not the type of nigga that you need a gun and a knife to attack. If you push this nigga hard enough, he might be injured. Why the hell was it what they said when she came on to she said? This is one of those events where the phones, this is a free no phone event, you know. If you ain't there, bitch, you missed it, kind of thing, right? But they worried about these phones, but this nigga, because I can't tell if it was a trans man or a trans woman, I could just see by the clothing, that this nigga came in with a gun and a knife. So how the hell did he get inside this event with a gun and a knife? But not one motherfucker got that bitch with a phone. Can you please explain to me why we worried about phones and communications and not guns and knives? Now, um, I'm a comedian myself, but this shit ain't funny. But um, I've seen the, the, the earlier Dave Chappelle uh, Netflix special where he was focused on the trans woman and then after that, you know, he gave her the opportunity to open up for him and all that good shit. And there's been some LGBT community jokes that he has done that I thought were very funny. And I didn't give a fuck if you didn't think they were funny because the point is, if you don't like something, just turn the motherfucking channel. See, that's what gets on my nerves. People don't like shit, but they endorse it by saying how much they don't like it. If you say, hey, I don't like this, let me tell somebody I don't like this. That's just making your situation bigger than what it was before. The way, if you don't like something, I want everybody to listen to me and pay attention. If you don't like something, the best thing you can do for it is shut up and don't mention it. But as soon as somebody don't like something, they're like, girl, did you see this? Yeah, go to such and such and such and watch this. And they be like, well, why the hell does everybody know about this? And this is no good. That's because you wouldn't keep your fucking mouth shut. You had to tell this bitch who had to tell this bitch who had to tell this bitch about it. And instead, it's getting all the lightning attention that it doesn't need, okay? What the fuck? And then I don't appreciate whoever put the video up the first time I saw it. That it did mention the community because actually you can't tell... What gender this person identifies as, you just see him as a dude 
jumping up there on stage, knocking Dave to the left hand side, and then Chris Rock run up after was talking about was it Will Smith? That was cute, boo boo, but ah, wait a minute. How the fuck this bitch say that recording talking about some damn? Oh yeah, I forgot I had another phone in my purse. I mean, while well, I got three phones on me at any given time, but if the biggest thing about this event was there was no phones, what about the weapons? What about the police? What about the guns and the knives and all kinds of whatnot? What have you? Stop trying to keep this going, people. He said what he said, and that's what he said, and it's over. The lady that that whole special was about has passed away, and she is not here with us anymore. But let it go. Stop trying to keep running that into the ground. Yeah, so what? I've had problems with niggas. I've had problems with white people. I've had problems with girls. I've had problems with boys. Every situation you had don't need to keep going on and on and on and on. Let it go. If the people that the situation occurred and it was involving them, if they ain't worried about it, why the fuck is you niggas worried about it 12, 15 years later? Let it go. Let it go. Put it down, okay? Now, all I want people to realize is that he had a gun and a knife in a place that wasn't supposed to be no phones. That, 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 that's serious to me right there. A gun and a knife. Not just a gun. Not just a knife. He had both. Wow. Uh, for real? Why? And, and, shit. One of our brothers is a trans dude. They don't need guns and lives, nigga. That, 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 that damn, that damn, that stop the road is good enough. They good. They can lift up houses and shit. This nigga, if he was, they not need this gun and a knife to beat up old ass Dave Chappelle. It's lies. And whoever put that video up should be ashamed of themselves. That girl, go sit out somewhere. And y'all need to make sure that y'all worried about the right things. Like, guns and knives and not cell phones. Now everybody's like, well, damn, I'm glad they had a cell phone so we could see the son of a bitch. Because we couldn't see the shit if it wasn't for the phone. And, and Jamie Foxx was trying to be a superhero. He helped. Yo up the nigga when the police was a little late to the reaction. He need to calm down, you know. That 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 nice piece of chocolate can't be cut fuck around with niggas doing stupid shit. Has anybody seen this dick pics on the internet? If you haven't, call me. I will give you the link. It is very important that we keep it safe, girl. Alright, so you people... Remember what I said. Don't worry about your cell phones. Worry about your guns and your lives. Stop promoting shit we don't give a fuck about no more. If we really don't give a fuck about it, shut up. Don't tell nobody about it. Keep your mouth closed. And stop. Leave them to be alone and the damn trans people. Just everybody, if we don't like you, stay over there. We'll stay over here. Please don't put no trans people in prison no more. With the wrong instruments and acting like ain't somebody gonna get ran up on fucked or pregnant, bitch, please. That ain't right. I mean, come on now. We gotta worry about Title 19 now. Y'all just can't be putting people in prisons with active penises with other active vaginas and things things ain't gonna happen. What, she thought he was just gonna sit around and fuck her in the butt? No, he wasn't. The vagina is on the other side, so he flipped that bitch over like a quarter, and she working on the third kid. That ain't my problem. That's the state's problem. The penitentiary is on some shit. 
Now, I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. And catch a bitch on the next video. Don't worry about the beard. That's my slogan. I'm out this bitch. Bye, hoes.